guys, what's up? It is me back with another review for Best Friends One Ever. And I haven't seen you guys since, um, I haven't seen you guys in like maybe a week or two. Yeah, so I I'm back and I am supposed to be a mouse type thing. Well, I got a Mickey Mouse. I already said this on my case in the third video, but I have a Mickey Mouse shirt on. And then it's a Disney shirt. It's actually by Disney, so it's like fit perfectly. That's why I picked it. And then I got like, it's supposed to be a Mickey Mouse ear, but it fell down. And yeah, and then it's supposed to be like whiskers and stuff. And this is, and I should have saw how Sid did her whiskers on this episode because I could have just mocked it off of that. But I just went off of my basic instinct of what a whisker would look like on a mouse. And I looked it up. And I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, I tried, okay? Okay, so, um, this episode was a Monstover crossover because Rowan Blanchard and Peyton Meyer from Grammy's World, who played Riley and Lucas, was on this episode, and it is a Monstover crossover because they've been doing this because it is, in fact, Monstover with Monstover Madness, and they've been doing this since Friday because they've been having uh, guest stars in each episode, so that it was guest stars, and then... Lauren Taylor and Landry Bender as Sid and Shelby on Best Friends and Ever is going to be on Liv and Maddie later on tonight. So keep out on the lookout for them because it was funny. So Landry was dressed up as Chainsaw Chelsea as a zombie and Sid was dressed up as a cuddly bunny. So I guess they have to switch because Ch Chainsaw Chelsea, Sid like Chainsaw Chelsea and um, Shelby like cuddly bunny. So Sid was like, I feel you was trying to train somebody, train saw somebody, but you didn't want to. And she's like, yeah, I didn't want to. And then Sid was like, yeah, and I was coming out. So then uh, she was like, um, uh, and Diesel is a, it could be a rat. And then she was like, he's not a, a what, what's he saying? Cause Diesel could be a what? No, Diesel could be like a muskrat. And she's like, yeah, but he don't even have an outfit on. He's like, yeah, that's what's so great. Cause he don't have an outfit on. He's just doing it. So he posted a picture of him online and it was already flagged for extreme content. So it seems like we should be at Spooktacular, which is an event in New York City that connects all of these Disney shows together in one for uh, the Monstover crossover. So that's the day. That's how they all uh, connect it and stuff. And it's intertwined because they do this like every year, I think. So um, it, they uh, it's in New York. So they like um, you know, uh, says like uh, no, she was like you know you got that thing said when you when you get scared. And she's like what? And it's like fear punching. She punch people when she gets scared. So um. They said, um, she's like, they supposed to give out candy, but they, they, but, um, Sid want to go to the spectacular, but they like, we can't, it's 3,000 miles away, unless they had a teleporter. And Bear was like, I have one, Sid was like, it's a Halloween miracle. So Sid was like, oh my gosh, and Nala tried to take, get Siri out of Sid or whatever, of the, because of the key, the Cuddly Bunny series, and, and then, um, Barry made some adjustments to the laser, he said, and took the tachyon particles that they left that time in the, uh, Shake Your Booty episode. And he fixed it, and now they can time travel. So he was like, look, I'm going to teleport this rat, which was the dog Diesel. And Sid was like, Hi, that's not a rat, that's a dog. How many times have I to tell you? He was like, just because you say it all the time doesn't make it true. So then um, Nato had a tomato in his pants. Because um, then after um, Barry tried to, um, he uh, teleported Kiwi. So then Nato had a tomato, and Barry thought he made turn the Kiwi into a tomato. He didn't. Nato just had a tomato in his pants. So then he was like, wait, what's this Kiwi doing? So the teleport thing worked. So Barry went to go, Barry said he was going to go to Switzerland and go get the, um, the Nobel Peace Prize and he's like, and he's going to get a tuxedo that he bought when he was six. So then he left to go get it, but then Sid and Shelby went and jumped in. I was like, let's go to New York. So then, uh, Nala was like, bye, I hope you don't explode. So Barry came back with his tux and the laser was all blown up and stuff. And he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they took this from me. And then, then Nala was like, well, I'm going to make you like Halloween. And then Barry was like, I don't like it because I'm a scientist and I don't get scared. So he's like, oh, okay, I'm going to make you love Halloween or else. Then Barry's like, you mean or else? He's like, no. It's like when you're trying to choose something or else. And um, the, then it's like, you know, Haunted House, Haunted House is. So they got scared and then jumped on somebody. And Shelby was like, you said? Then it was Riley, Ron Blanchard from Grammy's World. She's like, hi, I'm not Sid. And she's like, oh, shoot, the fear punch. And so then Lucas is like, I found it. And Sid uh, fear punched him. So Sid was like, I'm sorry I hit you. And Lucas is like, I'm sorry I'm a little on edge because I was just brutally assaulted by a cuddly bunny. So then he didn't want to admit that he knew the series. But then Riley was like, but she watched it every day. And she's like, oh, wait, that's probably why you didn't say that. And she's like, okay, I'm Riley, hello. So on the house, a hundred boys start talking. And it's a game. They got to be they in an escape room. And Sid was like, I never been. I mean, she was like, I never been in one before. So she's like, remember when we was in that um uh, lab room in the future? Then she's like, oh, uh, j nothing, just regular teenage girls. I find a key, and then she was like five locks on one door. And then Riley was like, welcome to New York.
I know when Barry was giving out candy and I, I like Nano's outfit with the jet pack and then Nano um was trying to scare Barry into Halloween but he 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 couldn't he couldn't scare him. So I was looking for the key, Shelby was like, I found a pickle and she's like, Why is this dead? And Riley was like, Welcome to New York. She tried to open the pickles but she couldn't and Sid is over there breaking stuff and then they found a the clue and then they found the key. Then the key went through Sid's hand and then they, a bear came out the wall and the key fell out but they ran and got scared. So Sid and Shelby actually ran but they ran through the walls. So they was like, what? So then she was like, Paula, give me some cheese toss. And the car went straight through her. So then she was like, they went right through me. Then she was like, well, that's what you get from buying food from a car. So now they can't even time travel because they can't touch hands because they ghost down is going through their hands and stuff. So they can't touch hands. And then, and they can't hug. So Barry was like, I found batteries, toilet paper, and soap. Kids don't like these things, but they do need them. So Nando tamed himself in a big spider web trying to scare Barry. And he dressed Diesel up as a spider, which looked really scary. Oh my god, on the TV it looked nasty. I don't like spiders. Anyway, so he t he um had not Diesel as a spider, which was kind of cute. And then the spider had to go use the bathroom and stuff, and it was funny. But he didn't get scared anyway. Riley was wondering where Sid and Shelby went. And they go, and uh, Sid and Shelby walk in. And then Sid was like, I'm not going to make no more ghost jokes. And she's like, wait. What's in the ghost nose? And she's like, boogers. And you get it? Because because the ghost is boo or yeah anyway so Shelby's laughs really hard then Lucas found another key and it was in a book called the fourth key and then Riley was like that was less impressive than I thought it was so they started knocking stuff down and trying to communicate with them and Riley's like what was that and then she's like why do I smell cheese tots so a uh, Shelby was spinning Lucas around and it wasn't working because they just thought it was the haunted house um effect so Ari was giving out the bouillon cubes which is the stuff that she make to make soup and then he's like, if another house is giving out boiling water, you can have soup. Because, you know, you can make soup with it. So, now I don't try to scare him, but it didn't work. Then he left a note saying, uh, Shelby left to New York irresponsibly. And I gave all away your stuff because I was left here. Signed, Bernardo. And then Nardo pretended to be abducted, but then he sat down. But, uh, he pretended to be abducted by the spaceship. So, he, then Bear's like, I'm not scared. So, then Bear went sat down in the chair. Then a the chair, somebody was in the chair and grabbed him. He got scared. He was like, oh my gosh. Yes, scare me again. I love Halloween. But then Nardo walked. He was like, what? What's going on? Then Bear was like, oh my god, I hate you. Then he ran away. It was so funny. He was flapping his arms. And I was like, if I'm here, then who's that? So then he ran away too. So Riley and Lucas found a key. And then they was trying to leave. And Sid went into Riley's body. So then she was talking. But it sounded like Riley was talking. So Lucas was like, what? So then Shelby was talking to Sid. And Shelby was like, yeah, we just had to get inside Lucas. And he was like, excuse me? And then she get inside Lucas, and then she was like, um, wait, I always want to do this while I'm a dude. So then she opened up a pickle jar, she's like, it just popped right open. And then they time travel back to, when they first found out about the time machine, I mean the teleporter. So then Riley and Lucas was like, um, did your body just feel weird a minute ago? And he was like, I think that's all about all part of growing up. And then they, the uh, audience laughed. So they went back and he was like, we gotta um, destroy this. So then Barry was like, no, you can't. So then she was like, yeah, then we're gonna turn into ghosts. And he was like, if I, if I can stick my hand into you, then you a ghost. And then she was then, um, so it was like, hands off these carrots. So she like pulled him down and broke his wrist. So they, I guess, broke, they like broke it up, I guess. And then they went back to the house and said, like, look, they got a crossover episode of Cuddly Bunny and Chainsaw Chelsea. And they watched a crossover episode, which was kind of cool because it's like a little thing to what they've been doing on Lost Over. And credits to the writers for doing that. Because that's what they've been doing throughout these episodes. It was like leaving little hints and stuff, like on Living Maddie. Uh, they was like, is that Austin Moon over there dressed as bacon? Because on Austin Alley. Austin was just as baking for the crossover episode with um, Casey on the cover to kind of sort of, yeah, with Casey on the cover, so that's how that went. So, um, yeah, they're gonna be guest star on Living Maddie, so keep up, watch that tonight. And thanks for watching with you guys. This is the next episode. I'm looking on Wikipedia for the episode list, but the next episode is gonna be on the 25th or the 28th, so that's like in two a week, two or three weeks. So I'm gonna see you guys in like two or three weeks again because you know they probably need to film it more. You know, you gotta stretch to elongate the season. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Comment below what's your thoughts on this episode and all other crossover episodes. Did you like how they did it? And did you think it was suave and cool? Or did you just not like it at all? So thanks for watching this. Um, click on the link in the description below on my campaign and check that out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Don't blame me for my makeup because I tried. I tried with the bun. I mean, I tried. I did this cool braid thing. I was probably going to end up becoming a trend anyway. So.